Pisces, welcome back to your extended for this morning's reading where we were talking about all how, how everything is connected here beautifully and um, that sometimes we let the clock take over and, and scare us into thinking that we're behind and we're not and that's posing a block for us this week this beautiful ten of pentacles the expectation of of where we should be and what we should have at this point was very clear on how it came through, okay? So you have to find peace within yourself here, Pisces, and you also have to never mind the clock. Like, honestly, just never mind the clock because it's just trying to scare you. Honestly, I do believe that wholeheartedly that the clock just tries to scare you. Now I'm going to take the Sacred Traveler. Now this is usually the cards that I use to read the Weeklies. Um, but I decided to pull it out for today, Pisces. Okay. All right. Let's see what Spirit has for you in this extended. How they're going to help you with your blocks this week these pressures that we put on ourselves. If you haven't seen this morning's reading, I would go ahead and check that out first. This one will make a lot more sense. First light, beginning a new cycle, right? They're reminding you, Pisces, that this way that you're doing it this time is much different, okay? As in dropping the expectations. This is a different way of you of looking at things. First light meaning different light, okay? Seeing things in a very um, special kind of way, okay? I am going to read from the Oracle book just to um, give you further clarification. Grace and gratitude, absolutely, and that's what they were saying, okay? Through gratitude, joy expands, not only joy, abundance, and that's what they were talking about. Peace and gratitude is the way to go here, not expectations and burdens, not lack, abundance, okay? So I'm going to read First Light for you. Let's see what it has to give you for advice, Pisces. A new day has begun in your life. You're at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wipe the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, you know, like I was saying, expectations, things that you're, you know, waiting on, situations or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. Let go of the clock. Let go of expectations. Let go of all those things, Pisces, okay? Today is the day. Your abundance lies in today. There you go. Okay. The sacred traveler wants you to know. The traveler faces east towards the sunrise and affirms that a new day and a new cycle has begun. New beginnings are often fraught with the unknown, yet the sacred traveler has observed on the extended journey that life goes in a cycle. In the cycle of life, the plants die in the autumn so there can be new birth in the spring. The sun rises and the sun set. It's a universal dance of death and rebirth. There's time to end and begin. In your life, it's the close of one cycle, the beginning of another. Face fear about the unknown and be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. Be of the mindset of success, Pisces. Okay? You can do it. I know you can. Absolutely. So in this one is grace and gratitude. Let's see what they have here. Hmm. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you, right? It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern day alchemy. 
It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. And the peace card had come in here. Okay? So we were already in the peace. This, of course, is synchronistic with this morning's reading, as they always are. They always find a way to touch each other somehow. Okay? The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood you in every juncture. No matter what twists and turns there are on the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you're experiencing, even if your challenge seems insurmountable, feeling grateful will ease any challenge. Replace darkness with light and allow you to hear, hear the chorus of angels. And we had your angel. That's my angel card. That's my guide card. That's for anybody who is on your side, on your spiritual team. Okay? Your entire life can transform when you take time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you. So, in great, in gratefulness, you will find all that you need, Pisces. Always, always, always. In gratitude, you will find everything that you need. Okay? So beautiful. That piece came in, so I'm going to put that here. I'm going to put it beside the peace card because since it mentioned it and it just appeals to me to do so. Um, all right. So I have the Spacious Tarot and that was the Sacred Traveler. Just letting you know which decks I do have that I am using. Okay. All right, Pisces. All right. So I'm going to begin shuffling to clarify the cards at the top. And while I do that, Pisces, let's take a minute and listen to what this channel has to offer. Hello, beautiful Pisces. Now, here's a part of the video that if you're not subscribed already, I'm gonna ask you to do that right now. Click that notification bell to all. Why don't you leave a like and a comment once you're done watching. All of this helps support this channel. I post twice a day, 9.45 a.m. and 9.45 p.m. for the extended Eastern Time. I have a Patreon link. I have also affiliate links to all the cards below and a one-time donation link. Right now, if you join my personal website, which is free, you get a free video not available anywhere from me as a thank you. This website will be the key to any free or paid readings and giveaways I may do in the future. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to let you get back to your reading now. Take care. All right. Thank you for that. Thank you for taking the time. And now we're going to get to the reading. All right. The Three of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands came out this morning. Ooh. The Explorer of Pentacles. So, the Explorer of Pentacles is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's gone a very long journey, but a very successful one. He is one that takes his time, picks out the best of everything, and anything that he does add to, let's say, his basket, his tool bag, his journey, is something that is precious and long-lasting. It brings in the results. So, you may feel like you're always launching, or you're at the beginning of the trip. Okay, and that's the part. I, I, what I was feeling is that some of us are feeling that maybe, oh, it's taking such a long time to get somewhere, or um, I've spent my entire life, why, you know, it, it took so long to get here and now it's still taking more time. This is going to take more time. Don't get bogged down by the idea that the details are keeping you down. The thing is about this, Pisces, is that you are picking out the very best for yourself. This journey is going to be an exquisite one. It's going to be one that's going to be tailored just for you. So be in gratitude of that and embrace them. Embrace every little step that you take that's bringing you to where you need to be. It's bringing you fruition. The Five of Pentacles came in, gave me a feeling of being left out, being uh, you know, isolated, feeling isolated from the rest of the world. Uh, it's it's a card when you don't feel like you fit in, 
Um, but this is a mindset because there's a key right beside the door. She could simply just get up and set herself free from all of these delusions. Um, but the thing is, is when you get stuck in the path of, oh, it's taking so long and I'm not doing what I should, um, you start seeing yourself in the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords for me is always a card of win or lose. You're either on the winning side or the losing side. But you have to remember, for whatever side you are, there's two sides. Okay, so if they're winning and you're losing, um, there's always a winning and, and losing side. And it all depends which side you want to be on. Okay? Sometimes, usually in the, the usual card, there's a fight and somebody's there's people leaving and you're winning. But is he really winning if the people are leaving him? Okay, so it's a perspective thing. Who's really winning? Who's really losing? So that card is always about perspective for me. You could see yourself as losing in this game. You could see yourself as being lacking in this game. But this thing is, is that you're not. You're learning. You're experiencing. And you're exactly where you should be. So it's all about perspective. Did you really lose the battle? Are you winning the war? You know, like, this is this is a thing. What are you doing? Is this self-defeat that you have? Is this because you're irritated at the fact that you feel you should be moving faster? So that's exactly it. You have to just move. You have to turn these two fives into a ten. Every time I see two fives, one clarifying the other, I feel that the situation can be switched up so that it's much more positive. Okay, And this ten, you don't want it to be the ten of wands. You don't want to be feeling burdened. You want to turn it into the ten of pentacles or the ten of cups. Okay? The card of abundance and, and um, blessings and, you know, wish fulfillment. That's what you should be doing. Okay, So this path of going in those fives and that feeling, you're feeling in a different way. Right. So there's the ace of pentacles, the temperance, and the moon. So, uh, the moon is a double-edged sword for me. I always say that, and I'll repeat it again, because the moon doesn't shine her own light. She reflects the sun. So some people say she's an imposter. She doesn't shine her own light. She doesn't have light of her own. But is that the truth, Pisces? It depends on the way you look at it. When you look at it in the sky and the full moon is out, she definitely shines a light. It may not be her own, but there's still light reflecting off of her. So, potato, patata, it all depends what you decide to look at. Okay? Are you looking at the seed that you're planting as something that's going to grow into something abundant? Or do you just simply see yourself at the beginning of something and it's taking way long for you to get there? You have to find the balance between the darkness and the light, between water and fire. You have to find a balance in between, okay? And this is what this is saying. Don't be burdened by things that will might change in a moment's notice, that suddenly everything is working out for you. Why are you defeating yourself before you even give it a chance? Okay, so there you go. So in the other energies that you should be looking at. There was the Perseverance card. For me, this also says, don't give up. You're almost there. Okay? And if you're almost there, if you knew tomorrow you were going to get there today, would you be having these thoughts already? So pretend that tomorrow you will get there, even though it may take longer. Okay? Would you see it as a wasted emotion to just worry about things when you're so close to it. If you could look back, you know, as they say, um, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Something like that. Um, in other words, if you knew now, uh, then you would probably not handle it the same way. It's all right. Two of Wands. Take the time, and Two of Wands came out again here. Take the time to contemplate things in a very different way. Okay? You've made your choices. You've done a lot of planning. Let things progress the way they should. Okay? Commit yourself to the bigger picture. Okay? 
you've put down your creative forces. In the meantime, what you should be doing is celebrating all the stuff that you've accomplished so far, Pisces. You've done so well. Um, you should take more time in really celebrating those wins. And all the stability that it brought you. Seven of Cups. Look at all these choices falling from the sky. Okay? Dripping in all these opportunities. You can see them as too many choices, or you can just see them as so many choices. It all depends on how you look at it. In gratitude, or have missed opportunities. Okay? So decide right now that anything that you did pick and what you did follow through is exactly what you needed to do regardless of what happens, okay? Again, the Seven of Cups can come in as illusion, very much mirroring the Moon card. We have that in Cups because we flow. The reason we can flow to the good, we can flow to the bad, okay? The Ten of Pentacles. Of course, the card of abundance. You should be abundant for everything that you want. Okay, and the nine of wands coming in. Another double card here. Although this time it came in this way. Uh, the thing about it is, is I feel very much at the odds. Like I said at the beginning, are you like giving up? Or it's don't give up, you're almost there. Again, it's like a double-sided thing. Always. Flip it around, Pisces. Don't defeat yourself before you get there. Abundance is well on its way to you. Abundance is here for you now. It lives in your heart. It lives in your dreams. Live in that energy. The one that propelled you to be here in the first place. Don't let doubt creep in and make you feel like you are losing when in fact you are still very much in win. Okay? We have the King of Cups here coming through. The King of Cups is about being calm, cool as a cucumber, even when certain things come in. And, okay, what's coming in from them is that when these nasty little thoughts come in to your brain, trying to upset the apple cart, they want you to just acknowledge a thought and then release it. Just like you do in meditation. Acknowledge that it came in, acknowledge that the feeling came in for a moment, and then let it go, okay? And there you go, the devil. It's just the devil making you feel like there's no way out. There is obviously a way out. Even though it looks menacing, even though it looks dark, and you go, oh, i got to walk through all of this. Yeah, but if you just slide yourself through this tree, and if you walk towards this, you're going to see that the gaps get a lot bigger. So just keep walking, Pisces, okay? Release yourself from these, these self-defeating thoughts and the cycle of guilt and the cycle of, of restriction and, and of, um, and, uh, yeah, of frustration. I think it's the cycles of frustration more than anything. Remember that you've planted this seed, concentrate on the roots taking hold in the ground, and that it's going to bring lots of fruit for you, Pisces. Okay? This is the second Ace of Pentacles that we have. Another double card in this. A lot of double cards here today. But again, very synchronistic in my reading. So that's the way it is. Ooh, two Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. So this is about your ability to adapt, Pisces. There's a lot of twos here coming through. Again, two, two, two. Um, two I love is adapting because two can multiply itself and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it creates more stability in your life. So this is about adaptability. This is about juggling. This is about figuring out all of this on your own. Okay? You just have to juggle a little bit, and the next day will come in, and more will happen, and you'll be able to release yourself from these thoughts.
You have the Two of Wands here, Pisces. I really love this one because it's showing like the sun is coming up um, on this wintry day okay so the sun is fast approaching you can see it it's either setting so that tomorrow the another day will begin these four swords are resting on the bench like taking a break and I feel really and truly they're telling you that if you get into the self-defeatist mode where you're thinking, I'm blocked, I should have more than this, everything should be happening, to just rest, take a break, okay? Take a moment of inaction, have yourself a ball, and don't worry about it so much, okay? Concentrate on other things. You have the Child of Pentacles showing up at the bottom of the deck. What you're not seeing is that in these moments of just taking a break from this type of, um, of mental block that you're creating is a perfect time to create an opportunity to um, do something new, have a new situation, uh, have a new idea as you're resting. Um, this is also the, the communications card. Um, I never say it as such, but emails and letters spend some time to connect with people uh, that you haven't heard from in a while and get your mindset into something different. Sometimes it's as easy as just shifting where we put our thoughts and then we start feeling a whole lot better, Pisces. All right, Pisces, that's it. This is your extended. I thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Take care.